Hey guys, Alan here from Lookers and Ellesmere Port. Today is another special video for me, it's another request. Recently sold a car to a Mr Finn, local to ourselves in Ellesmere Port, and he came back to me and said he'd like a bit more information on the tyre pressure monitoring system, but he'd prefer it as a video on the YouTube channel as he's a subscriber. So we're going to use two different cars because there's two different types of tyre pressure monitoring system. We're going to use the Corsa Griffin and we're going to use the Crossland X. This is your first time to our channel hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all future content and if you like the video let me know in the comments so what is the tire pressure monitoring system and how does it work well simply put it's a little sensor inside the valve of the tire which sends information to the engine control unit or the ecu in real time about the information of the pressures in your tire now it's always good practice to check the tire pressures every couple of weeks but that would normally involve either buying a pressure gauge or going to the local petrol station, putting your money into the machine, and the machine will then tell you what the pressures are. The great thing about the Corsa is with the tyre pressure monitoring system inside it, you can check the pressures from the comfort of your driver's seat just by looking at the dash there and what the control information says. So let's show you how to find it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the start point of the speedo being read in digital as you can see here. Then what you do is use the indicator stalk on the left, use your left thumb, to press the menu button so that the system changes from vehicle information to road information. Then we twist down until you get to the image of the bird's eye view of the car with four numbers representing the pressures in the wheels. It's always best to refer back to your owner's manual just to double check what your pressure should be. Okay, now the Crossland as we're in now, similar to the Grandland, the Combo Life, doesn't have the same menu system as say a Corsa, an Astra, an Insignia. So it doesn't have that display screen in, in the front dash. And what that has instead, if you look down here, has a little button that looks like a tire with a little exclamation mark in it. So the system works pretty much the same way as the Corsa does, just without that digital readout. So if you want to check your tire pressures, you're going to have to either get a, a pressure gauge, go to the petrol station, plug it in the same way. But the system will notify you if the pressures drop below recommended range. So if that happens, like the same with all Vauxhalls, this little symbol here will pop up on the dash. So if you see that little symbol, then you know you may have a problem with one or more of your tires. So there are some situations where the tire pressure light might pop on, but there's actually no problems with the tires at all. They're at the right pressure. Now that could be scenarios such as you've had a new tire and the actual valve and the ECU have not communicated. So it's showing that there's no pressure in it. It could be that the car's been stood for a long period of time, or it could be that you've hit a pothole or a curb or something and not the sink out. Now this can be rectified in a few ways. It could be that your car just needs a good drive and get the ECU and the valve talking again. It could be that you need to plug the car into a diagnostics machine, or it could be that you need a new valve. The last two, just give us a call at Lucas Ellesmere Port, speak to the service department and they can advise you accordingly. So there you go, there's the tyre pressure monitoring system. Thank you so much Mr Finn for your question, it's been a great one for us to cover on the channel. Thank you guys for watching it as well, let me know in the comments below if you liked it. Take care and we'll see you again. Thank you.